I'm Brandon Miller and I am a habitual smoker. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make baby back ribs on a smoker. The important thing, just get your temp up to 225 and once you have that, you're ready to go. Our smoker is warming up so we're going to start preparing the ribs. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to rub them down. You can really experiment uh, with all different kinds of flavors. So, you know, try different rubs out, whatever your favorite thing is. First. Rub it down with Worcestershire, that's what I use, or you can use mustard as a base, uh, really any kind of adherent that's going to keep the rub on there. Some people like to use olive oil. And then we're going to rub that all down, put the rub on, and then we're going to be ready to go on the smoker. So we got our temperature pinned right at about 225, that's perfect. So now we're going to put them on the smoker and we're going to leave them sit there for two hours. We just pulled our ribs off, they're looking really good, but now we're going to do the step that really sets this recipe off. First, we're going to take pads of butter, and you're going to line it up on each rib. Then we're going to drizzle it in honey. And throw some brown sugar on there to really give it that sweetness. And that's going to just tenderize it, give it that flavor something you don't usually get. This is the part of the recipe that makes it all happen. Once you have all your goodness spread out on top, your butter, your honey, your brown sugar, you're gonna wanna wrap it in some heavy duty tin foil and leave uh, some little chimneys at, the, uh, at each end to let that heat sort of escape. You don't wanna trap it too much, we're not trying to steam them. We got them all wrapped up, they're ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is put them back on the smoker for another two hours. All right, so we just got the ribs off. They've been on for a total of about four hours. Now it's time to get into the third and final step. We're just gonna sauce them up, lather them up, and then put them on for about another hour. If you choose not to sauce, just leave them on until they're done. Okay, it's been about an hour, so we're gonna check it out. Again, the meat's done when the meat's done, but we're gonna check the flop and uh, see what it looks like. Oh, they're looking good, smelling good. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be ready. All right, now those feel good. You can see that there's a little bit of separation there in the rib where I'm pulling to, so I think they're ready to come off. Now we're gonna cut into it. What we're looking for is that knife to go in there nice and smooth, and then once we get inside, hopefully there's a beautiful smoke ring, and it's everything we dreamed of. Oh, yep, see how it just glides right through there? That means we're in good shape. Yes, we got a little ring around there. That's what we want to see. And now it's time to taste. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> 